Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, take the derivative of this function that you see here. So we have y equals to cosine x all raised to the power of x. Okay? Um, and the key to doing this is, is in this uh, box right here. Uh, but before we proceed, um, I'm going to mention that um, there's a few students that make this mistake. Let me point that out. So what they will do okay, is that they'll say, okay, taking the derivative, all right, they'll say okay, y prime, and then they'll bring down the x. So they'll have x times cosine x, all raised to the x minus one, and then they'll take the derivative of the inside part, which in this case, the derivative of cosine is minus sine of x. So this is not correct, okay? You can't use that power rule in this situation. Um, the power rule can only be applied if you have a, a function, you know, raised to a um, to some to some number. Okay, right. that's clearly not what we have here. We have you know we have an algebra. We have sorry. We have an expression here. In this case, cosine x right, raised to another variable expression. Okay, so we can't we can't do this right. Um, we can't use that power rule. So. Um, this is not the correct way to do this. Okay, so let's clear the slate. All right, so let's think about this. How, how do we, how can we do this? Well, what we can do is utilize this, um, this property here. Okay, remember that if you have the natural log of b to the a, then you, that is equivalent to taking the a down, right, and then multiplying by natural log b. So if we apply that to here, then that will allow us to bring down the x. Okay, then we have something that we can work with. Okay. Um, so before, so in order to in order to use this, we can't just, you know, we just can't take the natural log of this side, right? Um, otherwise, um, we'll be changing the original problem. So what we have to do is take the natural log of both sides here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to have the natural log of y equals to the natural log of cosine x raised to the x power. I'll put this. So I'll put this inside. Okay. So we're taking natural log of y, right, and then that's going to be equal to the natural log of this. So taking the natural log of both sides. Okay. Now what we can do is uh, we can utilize this, this property. Okay? So this is going to give us, uh, we have natural log y equals to x. So bring down the x in front times the natural log of cosine of x. Okay. Now we have something that we can work with, okay? Um, and so to proceed from here, we're going to, we need to use um, implicit differentiation. Okay? And remember, we want to, um, our independent variable here is x, the independent variable is y. So we want to find the derivative with respect to x. Okay? So we need to use implicit differentiation. Okay, so we're going to have, um, so taking the derivative of the left-hand side here, uh, remember that if you have natural log of something, right, the derivative of that is going to be one over that, whatever that is, times the derivative of, of that, okay, of that, um, of the argument. So in this case, we have natural log of y, so y here is the argument, so we have one over y times y prime. So that's a prime. If you want to use dy, if you want to use dy dx, that's certainly fine. In fact, I'll go ahead and use that here. So that way it doesn't look like I'm taking to the power one. But to be honest, dy dx um, is clearly a better notation to use uh, because remember that if um, whatever is here, that tells you exactly what the dependent variable is. 
whatever is on the bottom here that tells you the independent variable. So that note, so this notation is a little bit better um, in terms of functionality. All right, so then from here, what we need to do is um, we need to use, right, we have a product of two functions, so we need to use the product rule for derivatives. Okay. So I'll do that on the next step. Okay, so we're going to use product rule here. Remember, math is always, it's, it's a cumulative subject. Okay? Um, you're constantly learning new rules and applying those rules to other techniques. And that's exactly what's going on here. Um, we're using implicit differentiation, and then we have to recall the, um, the product rule. Okay? All right, so let's see. So we're going to have one over y times dy dx equals two. Okay, applying the product rule here. Um, so we're going to have x times the derivative of natural log of cosine x plus natural log of cosine x. A little bit better for y'all. So natural log of cosine x times the derivative of x. And again, so that's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take the derivatives of these. Okay, so we're going to have one over y times dy dx equals to x times the derivative of natural log cosine x. Remember that is. And that's one that's going to be one over cosine x, one over the argument. Okay. Times the derivative of cosine x, which is minus sine of x. And then we have plus natural log of cosine x. And just to be doesn't hurt to have an extra pair of parentheses there. Okay, natural log of cosine x times the derivative of x, which is just one. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and simplify this. We're gonna have one over y times dy dx. So we have x times minus sine of x. I'll go ahead and put the minus out here. Plus natural log of cosine x. Okay, um, so now remember that we're trying to find the derivative of y. Okay, so we need to isolate dy dx. This is y prime. So what we can do here is multiply both sides by y. Okay, so that's going to give us dy dx equals to y times all this. Okay, so notice that we have um, Right, we have a sine x over a cosine x, so we can rewrite this as tangent of x. And we also have y here, right? And that, again, that's coming from, um, we, got, we got this by multiplying both sides by y here. Okay? Or you can just simply move this to the other side. Okay? But when you do that, make sure that you multiply that by all of this. And so then what we can do is we can um, go back to our original function here. We know that y is equal to this and substitute that back into there. So this is going to give us dy dx equals to y is this cosine x to the power x. So 
minus x, and then sine of x over tangent x, I'm sorry, box, sine of x over cosine x is going to give us tangent. Okay. We have minus x times tangent x plus natural log of cosine x. And that is our solution. Notice that we right, we basically have our derivative in explicit form now. Everything on this right hand side is in terms of x, in terms of our independent variable. Okay. Um, so again, the key to this problem is, is this part right here. Box. Again, everything, a lot of things in calculus go back to uh, these ideas that we saw in trig and algebra. Okay? Um, again, uh, math is a cumulative subject. Right? So we apply this, but we bring down the x by taking the natural log of both sides. Okay? And then we can go ahead and bring the x in front of the natural log. And then we can go ahead and use implicit differentiation. And, and within that, we have to use the product rule. Um, and then we could go ahead and multiply both sides by y, and that will. And the reason for doing that is that isolates the um, y prime for us, right? We're trying to find the derivative. Okay. All right, and then replace this with tangent of x, and then replace y with with cosine x to the power of x. So this is the result that we that we got. Okay, so um, so I hope that this helps. This is a good, this is a good problem. Um, it really it uses the idea of implicit differentiation um, and also uses this, um, uh, this identity here. So anytime you have, right? So anytime you have a function um, raised to another, you know, another function such as this, um, you're always going to apply this rule, okay? Right? And then use implicit differentiation. So with that said, I will see, I'll see you next time.